Let's play good news, bad news. Good news, the French have a new top battleship. Bad news, it's a Bretagne class. Good news, it has more firepower. Bad news, it's the older version. Good news, sometimes you can make really great shots in like two, one, boom. Bad news, that's probably the best sample I have for you today. Hello, hello there, and welcome back to Wolf on Aboard the Bretagne, which is the Bretagne class lead ship in its 1925 configuration. And it features 10 340mm 45 model 1912 guns, the same as its sister ship, the Lorraine, which you can see here. And um, let's just do something very stupid. Let's get into a test drive and let's fire both the main and the secondary guns. And, you know, a bit later you can see the main shells landing where you aim and also the secondaries land where you aim them. Let's do the same with the Bretagne, shall we? So in the middle you can see the <laughs> almost super firing designed uh, extra turret, quote unquote extra, and let's fire. And a couple of moments later we can see the main battery shells landing where they should land and then the secondaries land like on the 10 degree line to the left and I could do this over and over again it's almost every si every time the same result let's do this at nearly seven kilometers on a light cruiser that's almost an entire ship length so that's just what Gaijin screwed up and the good thing about the ship is it has more firepower with the main battery and 340 millimeter is a serious caliber even for a 6.7. The problem is that's a Bayern class and I just can't overcome the turtle bag. I can penetrate the 350 millimeter belt at this distance but that's only good enough for knocking out the turrets and barbettes but not to ammo rack the ship and I hit multiple times where you know I should ignite the magazine if I would penetrate it but even the tiny tiny turtle back on the Bayern class apparently is enough to kind of deflect the shells or just make it not possible to ammo rack the ship only if the Bayern then turns fully bow on I can with freak shells kind of plunge even at this distance through the thin deck armor and ignite the ammo rack. And this is the main drawback of the ship. You have those really great shells when you look at the TNT charge. 24 kilograms on those 340 millimeter guns is really impressive. That's a level not even the Russians achieved with their 12 inch guns. And you know, the Bayern class has some of the highest bursting charges on AP shells with 25 kilograms for their 380 millimeter guns. Hell, you have double the TNT that the Japanese with their new 16.1 inch monster, the IJ and Mutsu have. But obviously, it comes with a drawback on the penetration. At 10 kilometers, you lose 70 millimeters to the Bayern class's AP. And that is with the best AP that you have, the 340 millimeter OPF MLE 1921. You have less than 500 millimeters of penetration at a thousand meters, and at 10 kilometers, 321. So you kind of see where the problem lies. And Yes, you have 10 guns with uh, 10 seconds reload, uh, sorry, with 30 seconds reload, um, but it's, it's just not good enough to really get into the guts of ships and also versus light cruisers you sometimes seem to struggle. And that seems to be due to the combination of the fuse sensitivity of 20 millimeters and the fuse delay of 0 0.025 seconds paired with the lack of penetration. The shells don't seem to detonate where it really hurts. So this is really annoying. So it took way longer um, to make a little bit of a kill compilation, a scene compilation, if you will, to make it look viable. And to be honest, 
the ship isn't the entire French tech tree is kind of sad still at this point and that pains me because there is just in the development of naval forces just a certain time frame where quote unquote to minor nations like the French um, actually can be competitive with the main nations you know especially the British and the Americans and the Japanese and you know this chance is lost um, we still don't have certain quad turret friendships in the game yet even with their 13 inch guns you know which would be a really nice counter to the mighty Alaska class or the stupidly awesome Kronstadt um, or the Scharnhorst when it comes to caliber penetration performance wise you know um, but I digress let's go back to the ship um, 6.7 is the best that the French get the grinding ship the Kobe the premium isn't all that great either the Paris before is also not that great and both of them are 6.3 the cruisers before struggle the destroyers struggle yes they are better now with the he rework but it's still, still not amazing and that's just the blue water fleet the coastal fleet literally doesn't exist so you cannot contest caps on certain maps um or you know make the game decisive move once you are destroyed in your battleship so the tldr is this ship is slow with 40 kilometers per hour um it doesn't really have the armor the thickest part is three uh, 250 millimeters um, and that's just a tiny strip um, the ship loses insane amount of crew to even HE span despite having no real AA the torpedoes those 45 centimeter 1909 are torpedoes even though you have 24 they come in fixed tubes they have a really low TNT charge and only two kilometers of range they are really pathetic um, I never got even close to use them. Mm. Overall, this is a medium dreadnought, I would argue, with oversized guns. But, you know, that doesn't, uh, like, get you performance out of your firepower. The secondaries, you don't have enough. And as I showed um, at the start of the video, um, <laughs> they're all misaligned. So you have to go with, like, this 10 degree deflection shot. Um, which is awful and it's also again the main shells they have this amazing TNT charge for their caliber and overall but they just don't get into the guts of an enemy ship let's let's have a look at this ship right um, that's a Japanese pre dreadnought and it's bow on and I'm shooting multiple 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 salvos at the ship I will damage it heavily um, eventually I would probably kill it it has no chance of killing me but it just takes so long and this is the case over and over again with the ship it's not fun it's it drains your patience it drains your will to play the ship and this is the final reward so far for all your grinding and this is just not really cool and the battle that you see here is the best performance wise um, or result wise and yes if there is a bow on Des Moines standing still at less than 10 kilometers and you have all the time in the world it's not shooting you and you're standing still it's standing still and then you take careful aim you know and then fire and then, then follow the shells then then maybe right but the time it took me to aim and shoot with this ship well, I probably would have already killed four Des Moines in, in a, in a Scharnhorst. And as you saw in another clip, this is what you face over and over again. You know, if you get up tiers to 7-0 all the time and it's not enough to, you know, face Bions and um, R&U classes or the US standards, which all can easily kill you. No, you also have to come across the bloody Scharnhorst over and over again which is literally unkillable for you well technically you still can damage it you do great damage uh, when you hit the right spots but you never kill it but you get killed and that's so sad this ship has its moments 
but it's not really worth grinding. And sadly, that's it for me today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section what your opinion is about the ship. And as usual, please give this video a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see each other on the battlefields, in the skies, and on the waves of War Thunder. Mm -hmm.